essentially standing forests are a big reservoir, a sink if you like, of carbon locked up. But as we all know forests are under pressure, that's why we want to save them. We take the funding for the emissions that someone is giving out, then go to a forest and then protect that forest, then we have prevented that from being chopped down and the CO2 released. Second strategy, not so good, is all right, the forest is gone. So we can plant trees or we can encourage the growth of the forest. So it can grow up naturally as well, preferably with a little help. So you start with no carbon in the forest, you plant a forest and it accumulates carbon as it grows. Although people often talk about tree planting as the first thing to do, no, the best thing is to save the standing forest. First of all, you calculate what your emissions are and you start off with the energy bill. You can see how much energy you're using in your household or your building or your office, whether it be big or small. We can also do that with flights, a plane journey, a train journey, a vehicle journey. That gives you, if you like, your carbon footprint on the world. The next step is actually an important one and that is we urge then that you look at that and try and reduce it right there. So that's the next thing. Do what you can to reduce. Having done that, then we aim to mop up the remainder. We go and look on the ground. And on the ground, we see an area of forest. We work out how much carbon there is in that forest. Then we look at the 10 year track record in that region of how fast these forests are being chopped down. You assume it's going to go forward in the same way if you do nothing. Stop that and that is our gain. That compensates for your emission that you did originally. We've also got the carbon balance paper where essentially uh, the carbon footprint of producing a ton of paper has been calculated and that's in the price, that's carbon balanced paper. So you buy the paper, the carbon has already been balanced in the price you paid for the paper. And we're doing exactly the same thing with it on the ground, taking it, conserving forest, which balances off the carbon footprint of producing that paper.